Whoa! Oh, made it time! Whoo! I'm excited, guys. Today we are covering a part of our series called the Seven Figure Product Series, where we literally go and find some of the hottest, I mean hottest, whoo, hot, hottest selling products on Amazon.com. We break them down, we show you why they're doing these massive numbers, and most importantly, how can you find products like this? How can you differentiate these products? How can you make these products? Because you're only one product away. Let's dive in, guys. All right, so the product we're gonna be breaking down today in the seven figure product series is a typical household oven mitt. Now, I will say this is a brief disclaimer. These products that I'm showing you are not products that I'm advising that you go out and launch. Please do your own due diligence when it comes to investing and starting a business. But our whole goal of this series is to find these products that are making crazy amounts of money, most importantly, how you can see what they're making, the metrics behind them, and how you can find these products and improve these products. That way you can bring value to the marketplace. So we're gonna dive into my computer and we're gonna go over some numbers because numbers are where I get excited. All right guys, so we're in my computer right now and I literally just went to amazon.com and I typed in the ASIN that I have for you guys on this actual site. And here you can see that this is the ASIN the uh, home we silicone oven mitt. And before we go any further, the number one question is, what should I call my company? What should I call my LLC? What should I call my brand? This is a seven figure per year product. One product generating seven figures. And the name of the brand is home we, home way. I don't even know how to pronounce this. So next time when you're getting ready to start your business or you're trying to come up with a brand name, the brand name is not that important. The name of your company is not that important. Starting is the most important thing. So I went ahead and I've typed in the ASIN, as you can see up here, starting with B as in boy. And then let's go ahead and pull up the Chrome extension. Now you can use a Chrome extension for multiple different tools like AMZ Hunter, Jungle Scout, so on and so forth. And when you pop this up, I'm using Jungle Scout for this example. It's gonna show you a few metrics. And we can see here that the average price is around 12.97. You can see the monthly sales is $11,526. Now the daily sales is around 365 and the monthly revenue comes just shy of $150,000. Now, if you multiply this by 12, you can see that this is around 1.8 million for this product with spikes in demand, spikes in times of the year where things sell at a higher rate like October, November, December, so on and so forth, as well as PPC paid advertisement and exterior-based campaigns like influencer marketing, so on and so forth, you can expect this to do a gross 1.8 to around 2.5 million. Again, gross, not net profit, but gross. In order to determine net profit, we break this down in a few different videos where you can find total cost of goods shipped. What does this product cost to make? What does this product cost to ship? That is your total cost of goods sold. And then we're gonna go ahead and add that into the FBA calculator. This will give us our total net price. So what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and multiply that total net price by the amount of units that you're selling. That will give you your net and that will give you an idea. A quick way that you can also do this without going through all that work is to take this number, what that gross number is, and, and find out what about 30 to 50% of it is. At the AMZ Formula, we teach our clients and our students to always focus on being around 30 to 50% profit margin, the more the merrier. So if you take 1.5, right off the bat, 30% of 1.5 is going to be right around $400,000, right? 153, $450,000 approximately, right? So this is absolutely amazing. And here they're saying um, a quick estimate that the net is around $3.38. Again, to get an accurate number, all you have to do is find out the total cost of sales, total cost of goods, and total cost of goods sold, right? So that, that's, a, that's, a, that's a mouthful. Total cost of goods and total cost of goods sold, right? When you find that out, then you can put this into the calculator and find out an accurate number. All right, guys, so now we are on the listing. And here's a few things we can see about the product right off the bat, right? If you're looking at this product, you can see that this product's been um, up for quite some time and that the price has been sustainable around the price that they're offering, right? So if you look, you can see it looks like it's got five star rating, little less than 30,000 reviews, and it's the number one bestseller in oven mats. Let's scroll down. It looks like it is sold by, um, let's see, looks like it's sold by H-O-M-W-E, that is the brand. 
and let's see if we can learn a little bit more about this product. So it looks like they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different color variations. Um, and this is something key that you wanna think about. When you have more generic products, like there's not too many different ways that you can differentiate an oven mat, like let's face it. When you have these type of products, you need to ask yourself the million dollar question. Would people want different colors of these products? Let me give you another good product where people would want color variations. For instance, drapes for your room or drapes for your office or blinds, right? These are products that people would want different colors. Towel sets, people would want different colors to match their decor. So think about your product. The worst thing that you can do is just create different colors for no reason. When it comes to children's backpacks, people definitely want different logos, different designs, different colors. So ask yourself, can I add different colors to these products? Would people want different colors to these products? This is a very easy way to add more value to the marketplace and differentiate your product and your listing because having that color that the customer or client wants versus your competition not having it could be the difference between you making that sale. Now, when you're testing these products, a few things that you can do is you can send in small test amounts of different colors run through them and let the data do the decision making, right? I would reach out to my supplier and find out what are the most popular colors sold that people are ordering from you. I would start with those, maybe do a little market research, start with those and always send a small amount. That way if they're not moving, you're not stuck with a bunch of extra inventory. Also, it looks like they have two different sizes, the 14.7 and the 13.7. Let's take a look at these pictures here. This is absolutely insane because to be completely honest, and here you can see that the listing quality score, the LQS is a seven. These pictures are just okay. These are not the best pictures. And if you look, it's actually distorted if I zoom in on them. <laughs> Made it this far. What I need you to do really quick before we move on is I need you to hit the like button and down below, I need you to drop a comment. Let me know what you think about the video so far. And by the way, if you are not subscribed, hit that little red button, hit it. You know you wanna hit it. Next to it, there's a bell, make it go ding. You know the saying, ring my bell. A key factor when it comes to photos, and this is something that's gonna help optimize your listing, is you wanna have all of these images be the highest quality as humanly possible. You wanna have a graphic artist so someone knows their way around graphic arts and photo editing, turn all of these into a vector format and vectorize them. That way you can expand them or zoom in without pixelation. So here you can see like I'm looking and I'm zooming in, and this is horrible quality. So even though they're making a ton of money, the key that I want you to get from this is this listing is not perfect. Right off the bat, these pictures could be 10 times better, but they still work. So the most important thing is you wanna get started and as you're up and running, you're starting to generate some revenue, you always wanna be trying to break your listing and find ways to improve your listing. At the end, you can see they have a video here. Let's just take a quick look at the video. And I'm gonna mute the volume. And it looks like there's some user generated content. So basically users actually using the product, showing the product being used, talking about highlights, talking about features, talking about key reasons why you should purchase this product, which this, they did a good job. Again, the, the product video is not crazy. It's not the best that I've ever seen, but it does the job, right? And it's safe to say that you could actually do a video like this at home. You could literally have somebody in your family hold your iPhone and you could literally create something like this. This isn't high production, Star Wars production stuff but of course it's working because these guys are crushing it. Let's scroll down and take a look a little bit more. Here you can see the bullet points. The bullet points are keyword rich. It looks like they've done their research on the bullet points. And again, the bullet points are key because in the bullet points you get to tell a narrative about the product. You get to tell the pros and the cons about the product and why your consumer should take, take a gamble on your product. Why should they buy your product? What is the difference about your product versus the competition? What's special about your company? Why is this cutting edge? Why is this new technology? Why is this a new type of product? All of these are things that you wanna put into your description and of course, across the entire listing, you wanna make sure that you're focusing on SEO, which is search engine optimization. Amazon, just like Google, is a search engine. So you wanna make sure that you're putting these keywords that people are gonna be typing for when they wanna buy your product. Scrolling down here, here's another ninja hack. Here you can see the sponsored display marketing right here by Corota, which looks like it's an actual competitor. This is one of our most profitable ads that we're running through display marketing. You can actually take your product and display them on competitors' pages 
So when they're looking for a product and they're thinking about buying someone else's, well, guess what? Yours is gonna pop up. And if you're looking at these, there's four things that you can see. You see the picture, the title, the reviews, and the price point. So that's why these four things are super, super important. One thing right off the bat while I'm looking at the Keepa chart, I noticed that they're not running any lightning deals. So lightning deals and daily deals are a tool that I use to spike the algorithm, increase sales, get more click-through rates, get more visibility, and get more sales. This is a huge key to increasing your rank as well as your keyword rank as well. So I don't see any on here because they would show little red circles. Here I see warehouse deals. Looks like they're doing some warehouse deals. But you also wanna think about utilizing all of these marketing. Just because you're crushing it doesn't mean that you can improve and find the ceiling of that actual product, right? Down below, we have frequently bought together. I love the frequently bought together because when you have a brand or you have a product that's crushing it like this, you can literally see what are people buying after they buy my product. Now, these would be two products that I immediately go and look at when I'm expanding into vertical integration, which is adding more products to my catalog. Let's scroll down. Looks like they have EBC or A plus content. EBC is um, enhanced brand content. In order to gain access to all of this, guys, all you have to do is be brand registered. And it looks like down here below, they actually sell a ton of different products in the kitchen niche, right? So again, if you are not trademarked, if you have a product that's crushing it, the first thing you wanna do is trademark your brand because once it's trademarked, you unlock EBC or enhanced brand content. This definitely helps increase your conversions and you wanna focus on key reasons why they should buy your product, key highlights about your product, what's different about your product, and of course, down below, you wanna do some cross-pollination, cross-promotion of other products that people who are searching for this product may want to buy. Other than that, nothing too crazy. Number one in oven mitts, um, top 200 in kitchen and dining, 30,000 reviews, which is absolutely insane. And as you've seen, this product is selling around, we said 1.8 to $2.5 million per year in gross. So this is a seven figure product. So let's dive into this product a little bit and show you a little bit about how it came, right? Here I have the packaging. And this is another thing that a lot of people fall victim to analysis paralysis with. You have to understand that Amazon is putting your packages inside of their own packaging. So you always wanna think about efficiency, you always wanna think about quality, and you always wanna think, of course, about margin. So this is proof that you do not need crazy high quality packaging in order to make a ton of money on Amazon. This one product is profiting multiple six figures per year net, and the packaging is probably, I would give it a three out of 10. I do like the fact that even though it's a poly bag, it does have the zipper right here, as you can see. This is nice in the case as if somebody wants to reuse this packaging, they can, because if it doesn't have the zipper, what do we do? We just caveman it and rip it open, right? So that's a nice attachment. Me personally, if it was efficient and it's something that I could do and still maintain my margin, I like boxes. Why do I like boxes? Because simply having things in nice boxes make things giftable. This may be a product that you wanna give to your uncle, your brother, your father, your son who loves to grill or who is a grill master. And just by me showing a picture of the nice box and saying one of the only with giftable ready packaging, that could be a differentiating factor that is gonna make people wanna buy mine over the competition. When we're looking at it, it looks like the quality is good, super heavy duty, super comfortable. Again, there's not too much that you could do on some of these more generic products to enhance and improve them. But one key that I wanna give you guys is when you're searching for these products and you're getting ready to launch a product, you wanna order some of the top competitors. If I was to go into this industry, I would have ordered from them regardless, why? Because they're amongst the top 10. I wanna see what their packaging looks like. I wanna see what their package stuffers look like. What are they doing? What are they talking about? I wanna see the quality of the product. And most importantly, I wanna see how I can actually improve not only the customer experience, but the quality of the product itself. Here we have a package stuffer and you can see the package stuffers, it came beat up because it was just thrown in there. I like using thicker stock cards um, and that's another reason why I like the boxes because this stuff comes and it's in good shape. It just says, thank you. Thank you for purchasing our oven mitts. If you're not completely satisfied with your product now or in the future, even if past the Amazon 30 day return window, send one simple email and receive 100% money back refund, absolutely no questions asked, right? And it has their email address on here. On the back, it talks about key components, heat resistant, long length, provide extra protection, so on and so forth. 100% questions asked, no hassle, money back replacement and guarantee. And of course, made in China. On the packaging, there's just some warnings about the choking hazard because it is a plastic bag. It has the ASIN sticker on there as well. So nothing too serious, nothing too crazy. 
and this is another seven figure product review. Remember guys, you're only one product away. If you're interested in getting started in building your online Amazon empire, regardless if you are a beginner and know nothing about Amazon, or you're a veteran and you want to scale to the moon, we have some resources down below where you can literally learn a little bit more about this business and you can talk to a member of my team and see what is a good fit for you, which one of our resources, which one of our programs, mentorship or packages is good for you. If you wanna to get to the next level and you're interested in done for you services, take a look at AMZ Hunter forward slash services. We have tons of done for you services that are very affordable and done by top level Amazon experts. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. If you haven't yet, smash that subscription button and next to that, hit that notification bell. That way you're notified every single week when we drop new videos. And by the way, if you're interested in working personally with me and my team or making an investment in an Amazon business built, ran, and managed by our team, head over to AMZ Together right now and I'll see you guys on the other side.